this cowboy. All right, we got mom her bouquet. Casey went to smell it and it actually smells very good. But I better not leave Casey behind. She's still trying to get on her horse, so. I realized I'd missed a few calls from her. She said they were worried about us and that my dad was actually out just on foot looking for us. Like and subscribe to this video and enjoy watching the fun things our family does. Well, we decided to run out to the Cedars, about 10 miles south of where we live. There's some cedar trees and sometimes we find some Indian ruins. You can find arrowheads. We've even found elk horns out there. We, they call them sheds because they've shed. But anyway, my kids are getting their horses ready. It has rained like crazy the past couple days. So the horses are muddy as can be. But they're brushing them off the best we can. Our mud sticks to them like crazy. But we're gonna head on out there and just have a little fun riding in the cedars for a few minutes before it gets dark tonight. Look at this, Casey's saddling her own horse. I'm impressed. Like I said, look how muddy they are. That mud will stick to them for for a while, but that's okay. Casey's getting her horse ready. And Blake's getting his horse ready. Each of them on their own horses. What's your horse's name, Blake? Her name's Lex. Tell us about her. Um, She's five years old. She's pregnant. So she's only about six months along. Um, and She's had two babies before, or three babies before. This will be her fourth. Is that right? Yeah, because she had two Palomino ones. And that's it, right? And then the Faith Lily last year. Oh, that's right. This will be her fourth baby. Or no, yeah, so she's turning six then. Yep. Um, and she's named after her mom. His name was Lexus, but she was my horse and she died. It was right after we had just weaned her and so we decided to name her after her mom and just shorten the name. Sounds great. And then Casey, tell us about your horse. What's your horse's name? Chipper. Chipper? Tell us something about her. She's the best horse we own. <laughs> She's the best horse we own. That could be true, but Blake's making Lex into a heck of a horse. So, how old is Chipper, do you know? 12. She's about 20. Yeah, but she's a heck of a horse. Is she pregnant too? She might be. She might be, we're hoping, huh? That would be awesome. Okay, let's get her saddled. We're out by the cedars. Blake and Casey are gonna go for a ride and Dad and I are gonna sit here and visit for a little bit. You want your halter off, bud? I don't care. I brought that one so you can leave on, but Blake, don't lose the dogs. They better not lose us. <laughs> Casey, you're just like me when I was growing up. My dad used to always saddle and get the horse ready, and then I would just go climb on. Is that your plans? No, I saddled too quick. Did you saddle? I saddle. I'm impressed. Oh. 
See, my kids are better than me. Casey saddled her own horse. That one's good. <laughs> Straight this way. I think they've already lost the dogs. Okay, so our mom and dad um, decided to stay at the truck. We brought camper chairs so they can relax and just talk. Well, me and Casey went for our own little ride. And once we got to the top of this hill we're on, we decided to, we wanted to get here to look around for something that we could aim for and head out to. And once we got to the top, we started looking out and seeing some cattle ponds. And we even see an old windmill that we're gonna go check out. So that's our goal. It's probably maybe a little under a half a mile away. But when you're on horseback, it goes pretty fast. So we'll have to show you once we get there. As we're heading out there, we spotted some antelope and Casey decided she wanted to see how close we could get to them. They're way out there, those two white dots, but we're gonna see how close we can get. We're probably four or 500 yards away, but we've been seeing their tracks and because we've seen those tracks, we figured there might be an antelope or we thought it might be deer. There's two of them that we see. And they're, they're taking off running away. Oh, girl. Oh, oh, oh. Taking off running away. You can see the white rear ends way out there. All right. Right there running across. Oh, they just stopped. Turn back wondering who's in their property. Okay, they got way too far out there. They're out on top of that hill running across, so we decided we'd turn back to the windmill out there and see if we can make it in time before we need to head back. Here come the dogs that are chasing the rabbits got lost but now they're catching up again <laughs> they're having a blast out here they're going crazy when they see birds come out of bushes and all sorts of cool stuff how far do you think we are Casey from the windmill 75 yards that's not 75 yards 75 yards is less than a football field 100 yards is a football field. Don't you think that's like three football fields or four football fields? Two and a half? I'd say it might even be five, Casey. That's a long ways. Casey, how far do you think we are from the truck then? Uh, I'll bet you're close to it, right? I'll bet you're around three or four miles. We're a ways out here, but back behind us is where we came from. And in front of us, just a little ways is where we're headed. All right, we're almost to the windmill. We think there's going to be a bunch of water at the base. We're hoping so. We think it looked cool. But we see that there's a fence on this side of it, so we're going to have to just cross the fence and tie up the horses if we want to look at the water. But well, we're getting close and the dogs are running ahead they probably just want to check it out first. But it's a pretty big windmill. Pretty cool. Right. Ooh, she's yeah, she's good at stopping, huh? Uh -huh. She's a good horse. How are you getting off that horse? She's a good horse. Finally made it. The windmill's not turning right now, but there's really no wind at all today. But we get up here and there's a dead tree, so that might be a bad sign. Hopefully there's still water in there, but we'll go check it out.
All right, well, we made it out to the windmill where there's supposed to be a ponds all dried up. But it's because the windmill's so old, it's all rusty, and the pipe that's actually supposed to be pumping it is snapped and broken. And so we need to get home because the sun's about to set, and we have a little ride ahead of us. Casey's already getting her horses ready down there. And we'll be ready to go. What do you think of the windmill, Casey? It's really cool. Yeah? Is it worth the ride? Yeah. Yeah? Horses are ready to head home. They get dinner once we get back, so. Well, I guess we do too, huh? Yeah, I'm ready for dinner too. All right, well, let's do this. Sun's starting to go down and it's a pretty sunset. There's not many clouds to show any pink or purple or cool colors like that, but just the yellow sunset looks pretty cool. We're less than a mile away from the truck and trailer and mom and dad I've called a couple times wondering where we're at, but Casey wants Alan and I've been walking around while we wait for the kids to come back and Alan found an arrowhead. At least part just of one. Part of one. Looks like it broke off, but it's really sharp on the edges and kind of a, kind of fun. There's lots of Indian artifacts out here and ruins and pottery. And anyway, it's really fun to come out and look. Casey wants to stop on the way home and pick some of these purple flowers that we keep seeing on the ground but there's a lot more of them up here once we get into the trees, so we'll have to make a bouquet for mom. Aww. Just waiting for the kids to get back from their ride and we're enjoying this beautiful sunset. And you can see the San Francisco peaks. Where are they? Oh, right there, okay. That's near Flagstaff, Arizona, the San Francisco peaks right there. So, what a beautiful night, no wind at all. And just hoping our kids get in here pretty quick. All right, we got mom her bouquet. Casey went to smell it and it actually smells very good. But I better not leave Casey behind. She's still trying to get on her horse, so. I realized I missed a few calls from her. She said they were worried about us and that my dad was actually out just on foot looking for us. But she said just to come to the trailer that he would come on back. Um, it's pretty just the sunset, how orange it made the sky. And it goes from orange to blue to just darker blue. But it makes even the dry desert look pretty. About time you guys get back, we were nervous. Yeah, I didn't know the phone was on bike right when I looked down there four missed calls all the oh no. <laughs> 
Way to go. So welcome home. Glad you guys got back. You made us nervous. Back. Oh, you brought you brought mom a bouquet of a beautiful. <laughs> you know a funny story behind that? What? Casey picks the whole thing. She's going to get on her horse. I'm all, how are you going to carry that? She's like, and she just turns and smiles at me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> she hands it to me. Then we get over here, and she's all, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take it.